Do you have any other like bizarre custom video stories? So are you familiar with Gremlins 2, the movie? Uh, I mean, You don't have to be super familiar, yeah, but like, I mean, you've I know, heard of I know Gremlins. Gremlins. I know okay. one of them's cute and the rest of them are gross and they come out of the toilet, right? Yeah. I haven't actually seen the movie. I've only watched the scene and kind of read a synopsis. But I okay. guess I guess what it is is there are these cute little animals, and if you do certain things like get them wet or yes. feed them after midnight yes. or something, yes. someone's going to turn- write in and be like, Casey was wrong. It's after 1 a.m. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, so if you do they these turn things, they like- turn into demons. Right, right. They turn into gremlins. Right. Um, so one of the one of the more odd videos that I've done was I recreated a scene from the movie. Okay. So it's an elevator scene and the main woman goes into the elevator and the gremlins like attack the elevator mm-hmm. and they like grab her and pull her to, around and her clothes get all disheveled and then at the end the, the gremlins crash the elevator. So uh-huh. we recreated it with photos and it was identical, not frame by frame because that would have been a million photos, mm-hmm. but like every 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. Except for I got naked. Mm -hmm. So the gremlins made me naked. Yeah. That is interesting. That makes sense to me. Like, I can see why that would be sexually, like, that would turn someone on sexually, Mm -hmm. you know, a bunch of, like, little Little monsters, monsters, like, you know, that you're afraid of when you're a kid and tearing the girl's clothes off. Gremlins, Gremlins in general are a fairly common thing. Interesting. I learned. A lot of people make gremlin customs. I wonder if it's because the movie was so successful, so a lot of... Kids yeah, would have seen it, it. Would, right? So it would have affected them in some kind of profound yeah. way. Yeah, that's so interesting. Another really unusual one I did was a guy sent me from eBay a 1950s vacuum, mm-hmm. and I vacuumed my sofa. <laughs> what the? Fuck? That's it. I vacuumed my sofa. I was clothed. He didn't specify what kind of clothes he wanted me to wear, but I kind of wore like 50s housewifey clothes because uh-huh. I figured it went with the vacuum. Right. And I vacuumed the sofa. And that was I it? cleaned all the cat hair off of it, yeah. And did you have to send the vacuum back to him? No, I kept the vacuum. It's in my house. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> wow, that's so crazy. So I do, I do everything. Mm-hmm. Like I don't. There, there are a couple of things that I won't do. Right. But otherwise, I do everything. What What have been some requests that you've gotten that you won't do? I don't do smoking fetish okay. because I've never smoked, and yeah. I don't feel like I do a good job yeah. at smoking fetish. I tried once for a marijuana company. Mm-hmm. The scene actually got nominated for an AVN award. But oh, really? <laughs> the whole time I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And they had to teach me how to hold the thing. Yeah. To, you know, we, I had used a vape, and they had to teach me how to use the vape and, like, so right. I just don't do it because I don't feel comfortable doing right, it. Right, right, That makes and sense. And I don't do vomit. Yeah. And I don't do poop. Yeah, I could And I don't do that. I don't do what is called Lolita fetish, which is where I say like, "Hi, I'm Casey. I'm 16." Right. Okay. So I am of age in all of my videos. Yeah, that would be kind of creepy. But I guess the, what do they call that? Age play, right? It, yeah. So I will. So I will do. I've done diaper stuff. I've done okay. age play stuff. But it's all an implied. Uh huh. It's, it's it's not the, you explicitly. It's the saying. explicit saying I'm underage right, that right, I don't right. do. Got it. So what what do you do in like a diaper fetish video? You just like wear a diaper and like hang out. Yeah, um, I did a video once where I did. I, it was a it was a punishment that I was being put into a diaper. So I got okay. put into a diaper as a punishment and then given an enema. Okay. That I expelled into the diaper. <laughs> You've, nothing does humiliate you. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> One of them, um, I have a repeat customer who likes time stop fetish, which is um, like a freeze fetish. Okay. So you have a magical watch right. in time stop fetish. Okay. And so like you'll be going, like you're the, I'm the time stopper. Okay. So you'll be going along, you'll be talking whatever, I hit my watch or I touch my watch and it makes you freeze and okay. it stops time. Okay. But I get to move through time. Okay. And so I can pose you, and I can take off your clothes, and I can have sex with you while you're frozen, all of these things. And I can unstop time, and you don't know that any of this has happened to you. So you unstop time, and you go, where's my shirt? Oh, my God. What happened to my clothes? So in this custom that I have done a couple of times for him is I get turned into a baby. You get turned into yeah, a baby? Yeah, so I get time stopped, and then the diaper goes on. Oh, my god. And then gosh. once the diaper went on, and I also got turned into, like, a diaper dog. So, like, a collar and leash went on, too, and a tennis ball in my mouth. But I was wearing a diaper. Oh, my God. Oh, I do everything. That is so interesting. 
The stuff that people come up with is always like so. I mean, that's what like is so interesting to me about human sexuality. It's mm-hmm. so multifaceted and it's so complex. And people come up with the most the, what seems you know to us to be the craziest stuff that, yeah, that gets and, them going. Yeah, and you know, diaper time stop guy isn't going to be able to get <laughs> his content that gets him off on Pornhub. Yes, yeah, that, and that's definitely a plus. Mm-hmm. For. So that's kind of was the angle I assume that John was going with right. when he was interviewing you guys. It was like, okay, so now you know there's kind of been a new market created mm-hmm. because exactly like it is actually where I think the business is going. I mm-hmm. think that there's always going to be mainstream porn. I think mm-hmm. that mainstream porn has existed for centuries. Yeah, and so people are going to keep making mainstream porn, but yeah. you can't pirate personal interaction. Right. Right. Which is also why I think camming has mm-hmm. been such a good thing mm-hmm. for girls. Camming and things like OnlyFans and yeah. you know, Skype shows and the personal interaction is what you can't you can't steal that. Yeah. And it's available. Yeah. If you make you know, if you make it available, fans are gonna some fans, not all fans, but some fans are gonna take you up on it. Yeah. It's interesting how the internet has kind of created like this this double edged sword. It's like mm-hmm. on one hand it's you know, all our stuff is pirated and out there for free, so it's mm-hmm. hard to make money. And then on the other hand, it's enabled, at least for the you guys, mm-hmm. for the models to be able to directly connect with their fans, cut out the middleman so they can like yeah. kind of take control of their own career and be more um, involved in their brand. And Yes, if, if only we had easy billing. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's always like an issue, because I know like one of the biggest problems is the PayPal thing. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people get their PayPals taken away because... PayPal doesn't want to support any transactions that support it's adults. All, it's just all Visa and MasterCard. Yeah, putting rule, putting rules down on different companies. PayPal actually will let you do adult now. They oh, have, they, will? they have changed their terms of service. Okay, because I remember because I know a lot of people got their PayPal I accounts did. yanked. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and like if you had any money in there, you they didn't get it. refunded. They keep yeah. it. They keep it for 180 days. So like you do eventually get your money. I had like sixty dollars in mind when it got yanked. It was, yeah. it was no big deal. But right. they keep it, and then eventually they give it to you. But you're, they say you're banned from PayPal. There's, right. There's ways to get around it, but right. You're supposed to not use the service anymore. Yeah, that's such bullshit. It's, it's probably the most infuriating thing that I encounter on a regular basis. Yeah, because I know girls. Because uh, also too, some people get their bank accounts yanked. Mm-hmm. Because they're Chase is mm-hmm. notorious for yeah. that. Like I won't go near Chase because they will no. totally if they find out that you work in the adult industry in some way, they will fucking pull your bank account. Mm-hmm. And it's so crazy because you go because I thought to myself, I'm like, that can't be legal. Like, you know, you're running a legal business. Like you can't yeah. um but, but I looked up is. the terms of service because they're yeah. private institutions. Yeah, so they, they can, can do, do whatever, whatever they, want. they want. Yeah, they can do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've been banking with the bank that I bank with since I was four and mm-hmm. my parents opened me a bank account. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I'm in good standing with them. And, yeah. You know, they make money off of me. And so, right. you know, I just hope because I don't know what I would do. Yeah. I mean, I originally had my production company called Holly Randall Productions. And then I had to change it mm-hmm. to something like totally innocuous. Yeah. Mine is completely yeah. not at all related to yeah, you can't You can't have it attached to because, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. They'll just fucking pull it. Yeah. They, I mean, I have sometimes people write in the memo line of the check, like, mm-hmm. Sex scene. You know what's so funny? <laughs> and I just want to shake them and say, what What do you think happens when I take this check to the bank? It's so funny because that they you say that. that. Because I think about that when I write my checks. Yeah. Because I do it through QuickBooks, so it's an automatically right. prints them out. So right. I will put like, and I'll never put like sex scene. I'll put yeah. like Casey Calvert GG, which right. you know we know means girl yeah. girl. But that doesn't go on the memo part. That goes on like the description part, which goes on the on stub. On the stub, yeah, which is keep. fine. Yeah, which but is I fine. But specifically, the memo, I make sure I keep that like model fee or something. Yeah, like, sometimes, really... sometimes, and I get it. It's bookkeeping. Yeah, yeah. For some of these people, it's bookkeeping, and I understand that. But you don't actually have to but put that. You don't have yeah. to write it on the check. You can write it in. You know, you can put it in your QuickBooks or write it in the yeah. little memo line of your business checkbook. Yeah. that you t- you know that you keep. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it crazy that we have to like worry about stuff like that? I hate it. I know it's. Really I I hate it. It drives me so crazy. I wish that I could just live my life. Yeah, and you know, sell my videos. I know. Without having to pay, you know, a thirty percent fee on each one, and you know, yeah. just just 
you know, function like like I made, I don't know, pottery and sold it on yeah, Etsy I or mean, something. You're a small business and you're working in a legal industry yes. and it's like we get punished yes. for that all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time. It's crazy. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.